Students are slowly starting to make their way back to campus for the fall semester during the global pandemic. Things look a little different this year at the University of Central Arkansas. Our own Alexis Wainwright spoke to one student about moving in with masks and more. Things are looking a lot different as students move back onto campus at UCA, their mask and even social distancing too. University officials say they're taking every precaution during move in. I'm very excited about moving in, but I'm a little nervous about going to college. Trinity Rogers welcomed onto UCA's campus Sunday where the unusual is now the new norm. I am nervous about going to school with COVID-19 going on. Rogers says this was never what she expected to be going through when she started college. But she says the warm welcome from other students helps. In the name of safety, the move-in event was done in two phases and the amount of volunteers was cut back. Uh, we definitely want to follow all the guidelines, like our university direction and guidance. But it feels really good to kind of be out of uh, the house all of the time, interacting with people, even though like, we're physically distant but socially close. University President Houston Davis says they've taken a lot of steps to prepare for students on campus. They even cleared a dorm to have for students who may need to quarantine. Our health center, our faculty, our staff, um, our student leadership here on campus has really taken a lot of steps in the last three months to be ready. There will be around 10,000 students Students this fall, 3,000 in the dorms. Davis says he's excited for the students to be back, and now they are all working to get back on track during this different time. It is new for them to experience that here at UCA. And despite COVID-19, Roger says she's excited to start studying nursing. I'm gonna still go for it, whether the pandemic is going on still when I graduate or not. Students will start classes on Thursday. According to the university, 30 to 50% of those classes will be online, and the other ones will be in person with a hybrid style. Reporting in Conway, Alexis Wainwright, back to you.